Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I shall be discussing on the different timers used in TCP. So, in my previous video session, you would have come across one type of timer called as retransmission timeout. If before that retransmission timeout, then uh, if the sender is not receiving the acknowledgement, then it will start resending the segment. So, not only that timer, there are different timers in TCP which can be used under different situations. So, those timers I have mentioned here in the list. The first one is the timeout, the second one is the time wait, keep alive and persistent timer. So, under which situations these timers will be used, I shall be explaining in today's session. The first one is the timer, timeout. So, this is the one which I have explained already in the previous session also. It is like retransmission timeout. When the sender, sender receiver, the sender sends the segment and then it will what set the timer and this is the time duration. Within this time duration, it should receive the acknowledgement. If it is not receiving the acknowledgement within before this timer expires, then what it will do? It will resend the segment. So, in that case only we say it is what time timeout timer and you can uh, see here retransmission of the last lost segment. The segment is retransmitted by the sender. So, that is the timeout timer. We have one more called as time wait timer and this is used during connection termination. See normally what will happen now in connection termination once the connection gets terminated now, let us assume that the sender has terminated the connection, but there are certain segments that are arriving a bit late, but the sender has terminated. So, in that case, the sender should not terminate the connection. It should wait for those segments that are arriving late, but how long to wait? How long to wait is the question. So, the sender sent, sets this timer called as the time wait timer. So, before this time uh, timer expires, it should receive what all those segments that are arriving late. Otherwise, it can terminate the connection. It can send the last that is the for the fin segment, okay. For the fin segment, the second fin segment, it can send an acknowledgement and it can close the connection. This is called in this situation, this time wait timer is used. The third one is the keep alive timer. Now, why this keep alive timer is used and under which situation? See, Preventing long idle TCP connection. One line I have written here. Preventing long idle TCP connection. The sender has sent the packet segments. Okay. Then what has happened is the receiver is also responding. The sender has not initiated the termination connection. It has not sent any FIN segment to terminate the connection. Nor it is sending any data. The connection is idle. The connection is established. But the sender is not at all sending any data nor it is terminating the connection. It is simply making the connection idle. But the server has to close the connection because the server is expecting that some segment will come from the client side. How long to wait? How long the server can wait for the segments that has to come from the client side? So, for that only this timer is used, keep alive timer. What will have what this receiver will do is the receiver will always as and when it hears okay any segment as and when it hears the client it sets the timer keep alive timer for two hours suppose if it is not receiving any segment any information from the client side within after this two hours then it will send 10 segments called as probes at what every 75 seconds every 75 seconds it sends 10 probes towards the client side. In spite of sending this 10 probes, if the client is not responding to that, okay, not responding to this probe segments, then the receive the, the server will what? The server will close the connection. So, this is what this much of time is given to the client to make the connection what? Live. It is idle now. You can make the connection live by continuing what? By continuing sending the segments but still the client is not responding, then that is why to decide when to close the uh, connection, it will set a timer called as keep alive timer. That is the third type of timer used. Then we have the fourth type of timer used as called as the persistent timer. Now under which situation this persistent timer is used? Sender, receiver or you can say client server also fine deal with zero window size 
Now, when the persistent timer is used is the receiver has sent a segment with a window size 0. What is that? The receiver has sent a segment with window size equal to 0. When the receiver is sending a segment with window size 0, it means what the receiver is telling, I do not have, there is no capacity in my buffer to receive any data from you, my window size is 0. Okay? So, please do not send any data from your side. This is what is the indication. But definitely window size will not be 0 always. At After some time, the sender may get some, what, some capacity in the buffer to store bytes. So, that means it has to update that window size. Now, the updated value in the window site will also be sent to the receiver, will also be sent. That means now the receiver is advertising a new value in the uh, uh, window size. Let us take some, uh, it is saying 2000 bytes, just I am taking randomly, it is telling, yes, now I have my window size, I can receive up to 2000 bytes of information. But assume that this segment is lost and the sender has not received the updated window size. What will the sender assume that? Sender will assume that, okay, still the window size is 0 and I cannot send any uh, further data to the receiver, that is to the server. But the receiver is assuming that in spite of me sending the window size as, okay, updated window size, the client is not sending any data. Both are uh, trying to think in this manner and we say there is a deadlock happening. So, none of both are actually uh, like uh, they can take the data and they can send the data, but still they are not able to carry out. We say there is a deadlock. To avoid this only, the sender will set a timer called as persistent timer. That means before this timer expires, it should receive what the updated window size from the receiver side. If it is not receiving before this timer expires, then the sender will send what a probe segment, some imaginary byte dummy data of one single byte to the receiver. We say a probe segment. So, once the probe segment is received, definitely the receiver will acknowledge now and in that acknowledgement, it would have written the updated size, that is the updated window size. Once it receives that updated window size, then the sender will start sending the data. So, this way you will what? You will try to avoid what? The deadlock here and what the condition that is zero window size to deal with this problem, this persistent timer is used. So, these are the four different timers that are used in TCP. Hope the session is useful to you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.